So naturally now we're going to be thinking about the next, the next, uh, oh, I think I'd like to say first, um, why is it, why is all this so important? I mean, and why am I a Christian? Why am I a Catholic? Why do I belong to the church? Why is the church important? Well, the church is important because it preaches and manifests, shows to the world what we believe about Jesus Christ, that he is the salvation of everybody, that he lived and died and rose again, and is with us still through his Holy Spirit. And I think that what Christian faith uh, brings to the world is what everybody wants, which is meaning and hope. And I think everybody, whether they're religious or not, wants that to their life, meaning and hope. And we think we have a message that brings meaning uh, and uh, the, the biggest hope to our world today. So first of all, if, we're talking, if I'm talking about the challenges that face the Pope, the new Pope, I'd say first of all, uh, that obviously, in the light of what I've said, he has to be a, a, a truly spiritual man uh, who's, uh, who's able by his own faith to confirm the faith of other people in, in Jesus Christ, a faith that affirms that God sent his son to save the world. So that's number one. Uh, number two, I think he, the new Pope needs to be, he's a pontifex, and the word means uh, not only a, a high priest, but also a bridge builder. And I think this next pope must be a bridge builder, uh, and that means especially with his fellow bishops, but also uh, within the, uh, the courier, the people who immediately serve him. And, uh, and in that, there's no doubt uh, that today that there uh, needs to be uh, renewal in the church, reform in the church, and especially of government. How is the Pope, this next Pope, going to govern uh, the church? And uh, a lot of the bishops and guards think that it's got to be done, perhaps in a more collegial way. In other words, those who rule the church, it's not just the Pope who rules the church, it's the Pope with the bishops. The Pope is essential, is a center of unity and truth, but he, 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 uh, uh, he also cannot rule the church without a, a, a real association with the, with the bishops. So, as you know, there have been uh, troubles uh, uh, recently, in the recent years, and, and scandals. Well, these have got to be addressed. Uh, and especially um, the Pope's own house has to be put in order. And then uh, I think the, the Pope has got to, the next Pope will have to be a man of dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, who dialogues with, especially, of course, with our, our fellow Christians, so that the, the quest for Christian unity, which will never, uh, never cease in France, uh, will continue. Um, and then there will be dialogue with other, other religions, other faiths, uh, Hindus and uh, uh, Jews, uh, Buddhism, and especially, of course, Islam. Uh, and I think that that kind of dialogue with Islam is very important for the Pope and indeed for all of us, if we're going to have peace uh, in our world. Um, the Pope is a... Uh, he also looks at the imbalance in our world, you know, between the rich and the, and, and the poor. Uh, very interesting, you know. I've often asked, are we going to have a black Pope next time? Well, we could have a black Pope. We could have a South American Pope. We could have uh, an Asian Pope. We could have any of the, uh, the cardinals. It could be... Uh, uh, could be uh, uh, elected wherever he comes from, and they could even elect somebody who's not in the not in the country at all, uh, somebody outside. Um, uh, so I think um, uh, the field, as in that sense, is is open. Um, it is interesting, though, when we're talking about these other continents, how the, the governance of the church has changed in terms of the uh, ethnic variety in. Uh, in 1962, at uh, the beginning of the Vatican Council, uh, all, pretty well all the bishops were white. Uh, and uh, uh, But now, and, and those bishops that were in Africa and Asia were all missionary bishops that came from Europe or America. But now, there are native bishops in Africa, in Asia, in, in, in America, South America. So the world has changed. Uh, and I think that the church is no longer a Europe as a centered church, but it's truly global. Uh, 1.2 billion people uh, 
And uh, when we're talking about the church, uh, we've got to have a pope who realizes that he's, uh, like all of us, like the, uh, all other uh, Christians, he's a Christian among others. St. Augustine once said, you know, I'm a bishop for you, but I'm a Christian with you. And I think we want a pope who's going to be a Christian with us as a pope for us. Um, now, I think that's 